Hey guys, it's Heather. Um, today we're just gonna review a few things that were from my recent Timu haul. So that's, uh, that's about it. So those that are like fairly new or new, how I typically do my Timu videos, my first video is me unboxing everything, just showing you what I got. And then I'll do a video, a, a follow-up video, which is this one, um, where we just kind of review it, test it out. Um, and then I'm just going to give you my opinion on, did it work? Am I returning it? Is it going in the trash? Like kind of thing. I had a list. Oh, well, here's my list. Keep me on track. <laughs> Cause I, yeah, I'm a scatterbrain. What's your point? Really, honestly, I should do it more often. <laughs> Which we start with. So these little night lights, like how could this go wrong, right? <laughs> so I compared the two, these ones that I picked up on Amazon. I like to use these for, it's like a travel night light. Um, I like to have like a little bit of a glow traveling, you're at a hotel, whatever, you plug this into a USB and it just gives off a nice little glow. You have like little kids in the back seat. You're on a road trip. It's dark. They want to be able to see a little bit. So anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. So I love these little things. I just, when I need them, I grab them. I have them with my travel stuff and they're, they're a good time. <laughs> so then I seen Timo had these. These got so hot. I couldn't even touch them. Now I'm getting a little concerned with my luck that I've been having with Timu Electronics. My vacuum that I just got, you guys seen that Timu review with that one? There was that, the whole situation. For cleaning that expand, the extendable um, electric brush that we review, that we review. Why can't, I can't speak today. Like, what is that? Do I not have enough coffee? <laughs> that That's probably it. I bet that's what it is. I don't have enough coffee. <laughs> Expandable electric brush, that scrub brush, you know, the whole, that was fun to review. These got very hot. Um, like within two, three minutes, this got hot. And I was taking it out of the socket, just grabbing onto this part. I was like, ooh, that's kind of warm. And when I touched this part, it was shocking on how hot. I'm not even gonna say it was warm. This thing got hot. Um, could it be defective? I really don't think so because I tried all of them and they all did it. So um, these ones did not. I got these from Amazon. These got these get warm, but not where I'm concerned to walk away. I'm afraid like something's gonna happen. I'll share everything down in the description. So if you wanted to get these for yourself and then just try them out, or if you wanted to get the Amazon version, um, I'll link them both down in the description for you. Okay, so these things that you can get from Timu, they're cute, they're small, they even look a little designer for the untrained eye. I'm sure there's people out there that are like, no, that's not designer. I've never owned anything like super designer, <laughs> like high-end high designer. I mean, like if you want to call a coach purse and Donnie Burke, Juicy Couture, <laughs> those are designers, right? But they're not like high end designers. You guys get what I'm saying? Anyway, um, so these are really cute. I usually carry a very big purse. Like I'm telling you guys a very big purse and uh, where I, I have basically everything in there except for the kitchen sink. I bet I could fit the kitchen sink in there too. I think I might try it. When I first saw these, and I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so that's why I got one of each because they're a buck fifty. Oh, also, all of this stuff you will find linked down in the description. Well, here's why I don't put the prices on the screen, is because their prices fluctuate so much. I'll buy something for six dollars and 38 cents and then when i go back to look at the price so i could like add it to the screen it's now down to four something and then like or maybe i got it for 638 because it was on sale at the time and now it's eight whatever so 
that's why I don't post the, the prices on the screen. You guys can go down into to the description. You can click on the link and you can see the item yourself and see what the price is. Um, I get some people that kind of come at me like, like they, they, they can't watch the, the video anymore because I chose the path of no prices. There's that. So these things, my, when I first saw them, I thought that would be really cute if I had it hooked onto my water bottle. It's like this water bottle, which I love this water bottle. It has times on here. I freaking love it. It keeps me like on track. So like you start at 8 a.m. and then you should have this all done by noon and then you refill it back up and then one o'clock and then you should have that done by 5 p.m. Because I do, I need to like cut it off. Okay, five o'clock, I need to slow it down because otherwise I'm up all night in the in the bathroom. I got a bladder like a two-year-old. Got to thank our kids for that, to have a bladder like a two-year-old. Thanks, kids. Anyway, so I have this little, this little pouch. Throw it over your shoulder, carry your water bottle around, free up your hands, and then I could even like hook that onto there. Right? That would work. I was thinking I could hook it onto my water bottle, but this thing doesn't open up very much. Like it just opens up a little bit and I can't hook it on. Zipper is great. I haven't had any problems with the zipper. I did attach this to my purse just so I could test it out to see how well this chain would hold up. Just be careful because this chain is not the greatest chain. So don't put anything too valuable in here. Like, I think I put like $4 in here and like we just got like a couple of bucks, a hand sanitizer wipe, little bottle of perfume, and then some lip balm. This isn't lip gloss height, it's lipstick height. This one, um, some other things just to carry in these things. Just like a little travel size mascara. It's a cute tiny little um, native deodorant because what if you got stinky in the middle of the day? And then like extra contact lenses because I need my contacts. I have dailies, like I, at the end of the day, I just toss these and then I, each morning I put a fresh pair in. Well, the thing that I've noticed with this, this jump ring right here, the first little ring has already started to like open up. It's got a little screw. So this little knob is held on there pretty well, but that first little jump ring is not the greatest. But um, I would just keep that in mind and don't put anything that's too high value in these little things because I'd, I'd hate for you to like, you're just having a great day at the fair and you grab your water bottle and it's, just dangling and it's like where's my little thingy my little thingy's gone i think they had two other colors i grabbed the coffee and the white and then if you guys don't already have these little water bottle charms like what are you doing why don't you have that and to let everyone know hey this the little h belongs to heather what are you doing Oh, you can all, they also fit these little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. Those fit in there pretty well too. I'm gonna take you down like right here so you can see what I'm doing. Because I wanna play with these things. Every once in a while I look over here because that's where I am. Like I'm looking at myself, but you guys are over here. <laughs> so when I'm using my phone and it's tilted to the side, it's like, okay, I gotta remember to, to look here anyway so i'm gonna i'm gonna switch you down here we're gonna play with this little pimple popper thingy um i wanted to get this for my daughter one year for christmas so i want to play with it if it ends up being like kind of cool where i think she would like it like I'll, I'll order her another one and give it to her for christmas and then there's this one where you can dig out the item that's in here this one feels like a like a candle. <laughs> I don't under 
understand. What does that mean? Wait, what? Oh, oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even realize that this, I'm, I'm thinking that's what this is because it doesn't, um, the instructions, I believe that would make possibly, is that Chinese? I'm not sure. I didn't even make the connection when I opened it up that it's shaped like a cheese, but there's a butterfly here. When you're done digging out your little treasure, because that's like fun for people that have anxiety or just fun in general to like use their little tool and like scrape away and be like an ar an archeologist. Is that what you got? An, an archeologist. You could be Ross from um, the show Friends. Like you could like dig out dinosaurs and stuff from, from the rocks. So anyway, you dig out your little tool in here then you can melt it in a cup. I, I think it's supposed to come with a cup. It says to like use a cup or you can use any cup. I don't know if the cup was supposed to come with it. Then you can melt all the shavings in the little cup and then pour it in the little mold and could do it all over again. I didn't even think of that. That's really, way to go guys. It's like reusable. Okay, so I'm gonna like reposition you here so you can see what we're doing and you're gonna ignore all messes. Ignore all messes that you see. See all this? You're gonna ignore it. Friends don't judge. You good? Is that, can you see? Okay. I'm gonna go get my other camera. Okay, hold on. Like don't, can you just like, can you just wait a second? I'm gonna go get my other, my other camera. Okay, let's try this thing. So I'm just going to stick this down here. This is one of those disposable sheets that you can use like when you do your nails. I picked these up at Timo as well. So then I thought, because they only give you this tool, I thought using these ones might be kind of cool. These are just like those little blemish extractor tools. Let's try their little thing first and see. Oh, I kind of went, that's a little deep. I don't know about this one. It's kind of weird. I suppose if you just did like light little scrapes, kind of difficult to use. I think it's just a light shaving kind of a tool. Let me try these little things to see if these work. So these seem like they do a better job, but they, you only get a little bit at a time. That's kind of, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of fun. Now it is a little sticky. It doesn't feel like just wax. It feels like there might be something else in it. It leaves a sticky, like, like I'm sticky. Oh, I see something. This is so much fun. I find this stuff like relaxing. The one thing I do not like though is this is sticky. It's so sticky. Like I can't, it's almost like a sticky booger. It won't come off your finger. I'm not liking that feeling. Okay, so I went down and grabbed some gloves. I did wash my hands and just so you guys know, I didn't have to like scrub my hands to get that sticky feeling off. It just. It just came off pretty easy. Don't use like a paper towel. Like I'm like, this is kind of like a paper towel type of a thing um, because it is sticky. It's wanting to tear the paper and it's gonna make it difficult for you to reuse this. Just use this surface, which would be easy to clean up. I think if I was doing this to like relax or have it be like a fun thing, I would probably take my time doing it. It's like a little bead. So what I'm kind of thinking with this, I actually, I don't think I would repurchase this just because it's so sticky. Something else in here. I cannot tell you how sticky this stuff is. This is crazy. 
Got a little swan, two beads. Another little bead. And we'll get this one out. This layer has like the silver pieces and the top layer has the beads. So those two layers did come apart kind of easy. So there's like a nice little metal bead with a hole straight through it. This looks like a little teddy bear with the same thing, a little hole through it. I cannot tell you guys how sticky this stuff is. It's almost having a reverse effect with anxiety. It's, it's making me feel very frustrated because of the level of stickiness. These things are, are so freaking sticky. So anyway, if stickiness doesn't bother you, then have fun. I'm not going to remelt this and create another shape. I'm just, I'm not gonna. It's not enjoyable. I really thought that this would be kind of fun and enjoyable because I just think that stuff is kind of fun, but it's just way, way, way too sticky for me. Um, I'm going to toss this in the trash. Well, let me clean this up and then we'll try the other thing. Okay, so we're gonna review this. Just the whole concept of it is kind of like interesting. Wanna, ooh, look at that, isn't that gross? <laughs> but anyway, so that's what this thing is. Is the bottle that they give us I really had to soak it in some hot water so the label came off. So like here's the label that it was on there um, and it just says pimple pus, which basically is just beeswax and some oil. Um, you wanna soak it in some hot water, like it needs to be hot. They're saying 80 degrees Celsius for two to five minutes. So you want it to be liquid because you wanna be able to um, suck it up with this pipette and then you can refill it save your little pieces because you know you can heat it back up oh my god that's kind of disgusting if you think about it <laughs> but what i kind of like about it is it's reusable so you can like warm this stuff back up but what i'm wondering though is it's going to get tricky to get it back in the bottle to heat it back up It just feels like a moisturizer. Um, so anyway, I think we got it all out. Just kind of save the little pieces off to the side. I have this thing in here in the water, it's been in there for quite a while, at least five minutes. You want it fully liquid. Give it a good shake. I can't get it to come out. I can't get it to come out. Okay, last time I thought of something after I turned everything off, so what I did because this thing really kept clogging up is one of the problems. So what I did is I just cut the, the super narrow tip off and maybe it'll come out better because um, it still fits, right? It still fits. We don't need it to go super skinny. So hopefully that'll help us get it in there before it starts to seize up. So let me get these holes uh, ready. So I've had this in extra hot water let's give it a good shake make sure there's no chunks we're gonna keep it in the hot water put things around it so it doesn't tip over get my pipette hot is that what this is called a pipette am i saying it wrong okay we're gonna get some solution not try to get it all the way up into the the bulb oh my gosh i think it's working It does make a mess. I don't know if anyone's got a better idea on how to get these back in here. I'm just gonna just 
start shoving them in. You know, wipe the edge, push it in. So I don't know, is this worth it to you guys? Is it um, more work than what it's worth? I suppose we can wipe off little drops on top. But anyway, okay, so now we're gonna let this like harden. So we'll try this little corner one here. Looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, this is such an oily mess. Looks good. Yeah, I'd be careful about getting any of this down your drain. It's messy, but it's fun. We're just, we're just leave it at that. Anyway, this is a friggin' mess. <laughs> okay, so this next thing is this candle. I wanna try and burn this really quick because they accidentally, I believe just sent me two. So I'll burn one for you guys and then I'm saving one for my husband's birthday. It's coming up here in a couple weeks. Pretty simple, let's see, light the candle standing upright in the middle. Two of the surrounding candles will be lit together and then the petals will be opened and music will play. Cut the line short and stop the music. Cut the line? What? Okay, so I'm gonna get some water just in case I start a fire. It's like super windy, I think I should close a window. All right, we have a big cup of water just in case things go sideways. Light the one in the middle, and then this one in the middle is supposed to light all these other ones. It's supposed to open up and play music. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know. Do I need to say this? Like, oh, there's my cat. Do you see her over there? Um, do I need to say this? Um, don't play with fire, right? You guys are old enough. You know, don't, don't, don't. Look at this thing is like wiggly. It's like, why is it wiggly? <laughs> Oop. Huh. It's a big flame. Oh. Woo! <laughs> so we do have a petal over here that's burning the other petals. I think that was just a, I think we're all right. That's very fun. I like that. That's cute. All right, so it's slowing down. And then it says cut the line short and stop the music. Cut the line short. I just don't know how to get it to shut up. Cut the line? What do you mean cut the line? What does that mean? Oh. What do you mean, cut the line? <laughs> hey, has anyone ever seen that one episode of Friends where Phoebe can't get the smoke detector to turn off? This is what's making sounds. It's not this, it's this thing. <laughs> oh my God, we use shush, shush. Quiet. Is it still just plain in my head or can you guys hear it? What the heck? <laughs> this is my nightmare. I'm starting to think it's just playing in my head. Ah! I did it. You have to separate this metal. I bet if that metal touches it again, it'll start. That 
was so much fun. Great. Yay. So um, playing with this diamond, what is it called? A diamond selector two. <laughs> so I have a fake ring and this is a real ring. But basically it kind of goes by the temperature of the room, I believe, and the size of the diamond that you're looking for determines what you start at, what number you start at. So we're gonna test, this one's about a carat, and then we have these, this is, this is fake as it comes right here. So let's just go based on this. This is a carrot. This is actually like 1.01. .01. And so if it's greater than 0.6 and it's between 50 and 85 degrees, then you need to set it at a two, I'm assuming. So you turn it on and then you have to wait for this light lets you know that your battery is in right and that your battery is good. And then you wait for this light to come on. That's, I guess it's saying that it's doing something to like, it's warming up. I don't know. Okay, so we're good, right? That only took a few seconds. So you have to be careful of that because that can break, I guess. So you have to be really careful with it. And then I, it said something in the instructions that your skin has to be touching this. Like when you're holding it, like they want your finger on it. I don't know. Let's turn it to a two. That's just turning this dial. Get it to a two. Make sure our fingers on it and then go head on with the diamond. So it should go all the way up to red, what the instructions say. So it should go, all the way up and then it should beep if this is a diamond. If it's not, then I need to go have a discussion with my husband. So stay tuned. So now checking these, it's a smaller one, but I think we'll just leave it where it's at. My finger is still on it. I think it, when we do this, it should stay in the green. It should, it sh if it goes into the red, then they, then this is some kind of a diamond, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why it moved up to three, but I don't know. Maybe the temperature changed. I have no idea. So it's staying in green, which that's good. It's fake. So then when you hit metal, it does that. So then I thought, well, I'll take my finger off. I'm going to put it off. I'm going to put it at a one, not touch the back and see if it still reads it. So it's still detecting that it's a diamond. All right, so let's change it to a six. Not touching the back. It still detects it as a diamond. So I don't know if the dials and touching that, like what does that have anything to do with it? So again, I'm not gonna touch the back and let's just see touching the fake. it doesn't go into the red. Like it still detects that this is fake and this is a diamond. So I have no idea the significance of this and what where you have it. You know, any of the numbers you can choose anywhere between one and seven, depending on the size and the temperature. Um, because once you go higher than seven, then you're into the red range. So all of these little extra things that are on it are not necessary. So I, I really don't, I don't understand it. Let's try one of these little ones. Checking all six of them. I have three on each side. They all go into the red. So you want to make sure you don't touch the metal when you're when you're checking these because this is a fake di these are fake diamonds this is this is not real whatever it's, if it's glass crystal i have no idea but 
So when you're checking this, you need to be careful because if you slip off a little, like look what happens when you touch the metal. Like what's your guys' opinion about this? I'm not educated on this at all. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have this. And like, let's just say you go garage sailing, you go thrifting, you go to the Goodwill and they have jewelry. Like what if they had something that was real? Like they didn't know that it was real. And then here you come along, you're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. And you go to test it, you pull it out of your purse and you're, you're touching them all. And all of a sudden, you know, you found one that's real. I don't even know if it's really like that reliable. I don't know. That's all I got to say about it. I don't know. Are you guys familiar with these? Do you have a Diamond Selector 3? <laughs> or a Diamond Selector, the original? Let me know. All right. Oh, and then you get this. What is this? What the heck is this? Just like a blank certificate? All right, we have a blank certificate. We can fill it in to have it be guaranteed for whatever we want. All right, that's all I got. Let's try this little grinding tool. So instead of snipping a nail down, go, do, getting like a little, I actually thought this was gonna be a lot bigger, so I was shocked on how small it was. Do you guys ever talk to yourself? I do it all the time. I have to finish my coffee really quick because I can't have coffee too late in the day. Um, because otherwise, if for multiple reasons, I've realized that 2.30 is my cutoff. Like, no more coffee after 2.30. Okay, so we're in. All right. Let's try it, shall we? Maybe I should put protective eyewear on. You guys can see all the lights in here. Just in case, like, it starts flicking something at me. I've never used one of these, so just, like, bear with me here. It's definitely not, like, very quick, but it, it does it does do it. It's not very smooth. It's almost like it just kind of, like, folds it down. I'm not pushing very hard. Let's try and get that part off. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't do it very quick. I would think it would do it a little bit quicker, but it worked. It did it. Um, I don't think it's that great, but I really don't have anything to compare it to. I'm not impressed with it. Now, what it seems like it does a better job at, like if you turn it to the side, like if you wanted to cut out a notch, you know, like to go down, You know, and like cut a little notch out that like a like a little drill. You know what I mean? That it does it very quickly. It does a good job. That's that. I'll keep this little tool, but I don't think I'll use this to. Um, I don't think I'll use this to like what I what I thought that it would be good at is to like take down the the length of a nail. Who knows? Maybe I'll have to cut a notch out of something one day and I'll be like hold on I have just the tool for that because <laughs> I got all my little my little my little tool my little pieces and I'll just stick it in there with everybody got a new friend everyone clean up this mouth here you guys having a fun time you having a fun time Okay, neck fan. So I have two neck fans here. I got this one um, a while ago. I want to say maybe Fat Fit Fun. <sighs> I'm struggling, guys. Okay, so we have two of them that we can compare to. So we have the Timu one, but I have plugged them both in um, so they can both have a full charge. I'm going to turn, you know, like once we kind of get a good little look at them, I'm going to turn them both on and just let them run to see how long you, how long of a, um, struggling to find words again. <laughs> 
I'll turn them both on to see how long they run on a full charge and then to see how long it takes to get a full charge. Because those things are kind of important. It's like, I don't want to like have to charge it for four hours to get 10 minutes of use out of it. And then now I got to charge it for four more hours so I can get 10 more minutes of use out of it. You know, like that kind of, that's a bummer. Um, let's see, weight wise. Gosh, they're very, they, they feel similar. Cause that's kind of important, especially if you're going to be wearing it for a long period of time. Like, is it going to like make your neck uncomfortable? The Timu one, there is some give to it. We have some little spots there. But there is a little bit of give. This one is freaking amazing, right? Like, come on, wanting to get creative. I don't, I have no idea, but you've got options with this one. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, sometimes I need to like look at myself to make sure I'm in frame. So you're gonna have to excuse if I'm not looking directly into your soul. Then I'm kind of off to the side a little bit. Anyway. So let's pull the hair up because I want to, I'm always afraid these things are going to like suck my hair in. So I want to like pull my hair up. The Timo one, it does have a um, computer, computer, is that a computer screen? It's got like a, a, like a little screen. It's got, okay, so it does tell you when you first turn it on, like how much power you got. I believe that's what that hundred was. All right, how do we see that? I hold it. <laughs> I did see it. Did you guys see it? I thought it said 100. So I want to say that tells you like how much power you have. But why doesn't it show us again? I want to know. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. <laughs> so when you first turn it on, it does flash um, 100 or 87 or... 73 that I believe that's the amount of power that you have left okay so we're gonna put it on level one let's just try that it does seem like it's kind of loud I don't think there's a left or a right I don't think that matters so that's level one it does seem kind of loud but I don't know we'll compare it to the other one two Three, four, five. So that's five. It's mainly just blowing up right here. Like it just goes up like right here. Just flip it just to see if there's any difference. So all I feel here is just like right here and it's just blowing up. And it does seem kind of loud. And it comes with a little charging cord that looks like it's about a foot and a half long. So then this one, which I'm loving the flexibility on this. So this one has three levels, blows up. Or what if I want it to blow down like that? So this one, it does matter if you have, because you want this to blow up. I like that you can, you know, that you can move it around a little bit better. You got options, you wanna like open that up. So the Timo one, um, size wise, it's a little bit smaller. It doesn't matter if you have it this way or this way, It's like, it seems like the same. This one does matter, like there's nothing on that side. So this one seems like it, it produces more air. They both are a little loud, but this one is just a little bit more quiet than this one. This feels, like it's better quality than this one. They're both plastic, but I don't know if this is just a thinner plastic than this one, but just feeling it, it just feels a little bit um, cheaper, but not much. I guess it's gonna go down to how long it lasts on a full charge, just letting them run which one's going to run out first and then how long it takes to get that full charge. So I'll leave that in because I'll, I'll test that out. And then while I'm editing, I'll um, insert that information. Oh, and then the all good one. Um, 
the cord on it. Okay, I don't have like a nice quality um, tabletop fan to compare this to, but we can try this out. I really hope this works because I love the size of it. So this does, I charge this fully, or you can use it while it's plugged in. It's got a pretty decent cord. I wanna say, how long is that cord? Okay, so this cord is 36 inches long. Okay, so then this thing, I really hope this thing works and it doesn't like overheat on me because I love the size on this. I get warm all the time, especially like if I'm in here and I have all the lights on, it's just kind of like a, this room gets kind of warm. I love the friggin' size. Like it can either go upright like this or it has this little knob on here for if you have it on its side, it's not gonna roll. That's what that is. Because when I first opened it, I was like, what the heck is that knob? I'm trying to pull it, push it, turn it, flick it. Does nothing. But then I was like, oh, <laughs> got it. It so it doesn't roll forward. Am I correct? It's not whisper quiet, but it's not super loud either. I think this would be fairly decent in a office setting, depending on how quiet it is in like at your workplace. So I'll test this out. I'll let you know down here. Um, I'll let you know like down on the bottom right here, how long it lasted on a full charge. Feeling it, I mean, it doesn't feel like super great quality plastic, but I have felt worse, you know, from Timu. Um, so my first impression with this, it's pretty good. I like it. I intend on using this like when I'm editing at my computer or if I'm up here getting ready and I just need to have like a little bit of a fan on me. I hope this is gonna save me. So there's that. <laughs> I really hope that thing works. I gotta, I gotta check it off the list. Table fan, check. Oh, oh, the balloon pump. Okay, I think the balloon pump. I'm gonna have to. I won't wait. I won't be able to give you guys a full assessment today. I can just kind of tell you if it works fairly well. My daughter is graduating from college, and I bought one of those big balloon arches and a ton of like banners and yard signs and the whole thing, okay. Do you guys wanna tell me what these are for? What are they for? I wanna say maybe for tying it, but even if it is for tying the balloon, I'm not seeing the vision. I don't see it. So I think one of the, the main things that they tell you on there is don't use it for 10 minutes like continuous. One of the things I freaking love about this thing, you can hide the cord and then you can like put your little pieces in there. Thanks Timo. Like you really like thought that one through. So, <laughs> so this is kind of cool. So that's what they're saying is don't leave this on like the continuous one. Like you can flip the switch. It leaves it on for like 10 minutes straight. I think like they'd be worried about it like overheating, I guess. That's weird, a Timu product overheating? <laughs> Never. These little pieces on there, there was another one. <laughs> Excuse me. But I like that it'll turn on as you need it. I got three different size balloons. We got the small, medium, large. Why isn't it? All 
All right, let's try the big one. <laughs> I don't know why it won't blow that one up. All right, so I did the big one really good. I don't, I'm not understanding why it's not blowing up this little one now. Is there a hole? So it won't blow up the little one. And these are Timu balloons. These are from their, um, like one of their balloon arches. Jeez, that's so weird. All of a sudden it just does it. I don't like that I had to work at it so hard to get the little, cause there's even ones that are smaller than this. So I'm wondering if it's not gonna be able to do the small ones but yeah let me know your thoughts if you've picked one up if it's worked for you did you struggle with the little ones did it warm up did it get too hot so um i will try this out with an entire balloon arch and then there's even other balloons to see how how well this performs with the entire thing um but that won't be until um a couple more weeks um, is when we're doing the little celebration. Still need to figure this out. I should have watched a video to see how you use this. Looks like a little scooper. You can pick up your pride off the floor, right? Okay, for this, the tens, um, I was getting it out and I don't think I'm going to use this because it's damaged. And because of what this does, um, like the, there's a crack in this device and then the, one of the cords, like it's coming apart, like right here, um, like where the cord meets the little, I think I'm just going to return that. Um, I just don't feel safe using it if it's already arrived damaged. Um, so I'm just going to send that one back. I don't want anyone that to fall into the hands of anyone because a lot of my Timu stuff I do donate. Um, but this one I don't feel, um, I don't feel right like passing this on to someone else. So this one I am going to send back, um, and just let them know that it arrived damaged. But anyway, I'll let you guys go. This was so much fun hanging out with you guys, reviewing some things. We do have more Timu hauls coming up. Um, I wanna do another get ready with me where we can just kind of play with some makeup and do some, do like a little chit chat, just kind of just girls just hanging out, being silly, trying some makeup. Might be fun. Let me know what you're thinking. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.